We're quite a close family, quite involved in um, the local community, the school community. And we were just a normal family, just doing normal things. The kids were um, at a young age, so it was very active and very busy. Um, I'm Suraj, and Omar is really funny, he's cheeky. He's quite intelligent sometimes, and at other times it's a bit different. We actually did a, a Bollywood night to raise funds for the school. So we just had an amazing night, you know, it was all singing and dancing. I came home, kind of lay down, and I felt a lump, and I just burst into tears. So that was quite hard to deal with. I knew that I did have breast cancer. It wasn't great because obviously it's not it's not easy to handle when you're at that age. Definitely scary. The chemotherapy worked and I was cured from the breast cancer. Um, and, and then I thought, well, this is it. We'll just put it behind us and, and not think about it. I was actually told I had more of a chance of getting hit by a bus than getting cancer again. Then it just became like a bonus, having uh, all this extra time, not having to worry so much. It was, it was a really good feeling. And then I just had a little pain in my knee. The doctor sent me for a blood test and an x-ray and within the week she called me back and said, there's a chance that you've got cancer again. You know, how is this happening again? We've been through this, we've done our time. You know, we're now we're having to, she's having to go through it again. It just, it just didn't seem very fair. Four days after I was told that I had bile duct cancer, I was having lots of procedures and investigations. We were sitting in the, in the doctor's office and we had spoken to the consultant and he'd used the words aggressive and he'd used the words stage four. And then he used the, the words incurable. Um, I think that was when the reality really sunk in. I saw genuine worry and just, and just sadness. My biggest fear looking ahead is, is for my children. Um, I want to be around for them. I do not know how much more time we have. It, it went down from years to months. Her pain was just uncontrollable. As soon as her breathing went shallow, I told my nephew, I said, can you bring the boys now? And it was just getting slower and slower. And she just slowly, slowly took her very last breath. And each entire time, you know, her hand was in my hand. As much as I tried to rub and re revive it, you know, she just didn't wake up. I think I said, you know, um, you can sleep now, you're not in pain anymore. And the boys are gonna be the boys are gonna be fine. Sorry. I think that um, for me, I miss having her around to do stuff with us. She was like a guide to me but also someone I could talk to and confide with easily. She's one of our like foundations for our life because even though she was experiencing a really tough situation, she still did loads of work to help other people. The strength that you need to have to do that is immense, but I think that we should have that strength as well. One in two of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Help us fight back. To give 40, 30, 20 or 10 pounds, text 40, 30, 20 or 10 to 70404 or donate online at channel4.com forward slash SU2C. 100% of the money you give will fund life-saving cancer research.